Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and a new card making video. Um, happy Valentine's Day if you're watching this on Valentine's Day. This is my last kind of love heart project uh, for the season, uh, but I have something that I can't stop using, and that's the Kendra's card challenge. This is challenge number 13. In this challenge, she gives you six different ways to cut your patterned paper and then take those pieces and make cards. And there are sketches in there for you to follow along with. It gives you measurements so you can uh, mat these pieces you're cutting out of your six by six paper. Or if you just want to make one card at a time, you can measure out that paper and not use your paper cutter to cut up all these six by six pages. But it just gives you so many options. And I find that it actually gives me um, like a boost to my mojo, a jumping off point. So I cut up the um, sheet number one, or actually it's paper number five, and then I'm going to use those pieces to make this card right here. That's sketch number 13. But I wanted to change out the circle in that sketch to this heart. Um, it's a leftover heart from a previous card I did, also using Kendra's card challenge. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is take my idea mash it together with the sketch and sketch it out in my card makers sketchbook. So I've got the idea captured. I can write down things that I've used and it's a good thing for me to come back to later and refer to so I can remember what I did and what I used. I just absolutely love the sketchbook and I use it all the time. So this is just one of the ways I thought I would share with you how I use it. Okay, so now we're going to get into the card. So another thing that I love about the card challenge is that it tells you in this particular sketch that this panel could be stamped or stenciled. So I decided I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna stamp out this inspirational text background from Trinity Stamps with ruby red ink onto this kind of um, mauve cardstock, and that's going to give me a nice background there. So I love that it gives you inspiration on how to do uh, different pieces of your card as well. Okay, so now this is going to go onto my A2 size card base. That is a eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of cardstock scored at four and a fourth and folded over. And then I added my panel there, which is five and a fourth by four inches. Yeah. Okay, so this is the panel, the piece that's going to go all the way down the center of the card. So I'm just using my grid mat to kind of help me find the center, and that's really helpful. Now this piece right here, I actually altered it um, because I wanted it to go all the way across the card. If I was to use the size of piece that was recommended in the sketch, part of it would... Um, it, it didn't go all the way across, so part of it would be open and blank, where the heart would would not cover up the left side like a circle would. So I decided to make that go all the way across. Now, once I started doing this, I realized I don't like the heart that I had saved from my previous card. So I'm pulling out the dainty heart cut and foil set, but I'm just um, doing the cutting part. The Over there on the left, it shows you love you. I'm not doing the hot foiling part that says love you. So I now have a white heart with that kind of scallopy background. And I'm using the Oh my, no, my one and gnomely <laughs> stamp set. Um, it's so cute. And I thought I could put this little girl on there and uh, it would be really cute. Kind of, you know, I like to make like cards um, that have characters that kind of look like me if I'm going to send them to somebody. So that's what I'm doing with this one. And I'm trying to match up the colors of my pattern paper and my cardstock that I've chosen with my markers. So my darkest color I started out with was R89. So I put in that shadow layer first and then I'm um, blending that out with R59 and my lightest blending color for my highlights is R39. I'm going to use those same colors on like her little mittens and her shoes and she's just cute just cute I love this set so much I have also can't stop using this set I've used it so much so um, I think also that it is a Valentine's like themed gnome stamp set but it's designed in such a way that you could easily use the gnomes in the set for many other occasions so like this one it's holding a heart you could have it have you know, any different message stamped on that heart or leave the heart plain. But in the set, there are different messages you can stamp in that heart and they're tiny and they're cute and I love them. 
<laughs> so now I'm coloring up her hair brown. Um, so it kind of looks like my hair. I probably could not do that long of braids because I recently cut my hair about five inches off. So yeah, it's, um, you know, dream hair. Wouldn't it be cool to have hair that was braided so nice? I would like that. But I don't really like braiding my own hair anymore. Yeah, I used to. Okay, so now I'm adding white highlights to my little gnome and little freckles on the cheeks, which I love doing with my gnomes. It's so cute. All right, then for the sentiment, like I was saying, I'm stamping the XOXO right there in the center. Oh, so cute. And then there's dies to cut everything out, so I'm going to die cut that out. Even there's dies to cut out the tiny messages, like the XOXO. A tiny die for that. So fun. Okay, so there it is ready to go on my card. Um, I am going to do a, a second sentiment that says love you. And then I'm going to cut that out with a tiny speech bubble so I can have it um, like she's saying that sentiment. So I'm just laying things out where I want them to go. I also stamped there's no better friend than you. And then just kind of seeing how everything's going to fit together. So I'll add that sentiment first. That way I make sure I have room for it and, you know, don't cover up the spot where I need to put it with my heart. I glue the two layers of the heart together and then this is going to get a little dressing up. <laughs> I'm going to take my glue and trace around that white heart to add some glitter because, you know, all the things I love about paper crafting, okay, not all the things, but it all started in kindergarten with glue and Crayolas and glitter. And so I really love adding glue and glitter like this to my Valentine. So that's what I did. This is going to dry back clear. So even though it doesn't look awesome and perfect there, it's going to look great when the clear glue dries and that clear rock candy glitter um, dries or sets up, I guess. Yeah, because it's clear. So you it doesn't really matter if you don't get it perfect. So now I'm adding the heart. I did a couple foam squares at the top and glued it right to that middle panel because I got a lot of thick layers going on. So sometimes you need to lift up part of it to keep the front of the card, you know, flush. So there we go. We have that glued together. We're going to accentuate this with some boiled sugar jelly hearts. So these are like crystal clear and they're shiny and like kind of rounded. They're just really cute. So I'm going to add those in and around. It just needed a little something on that big white area. So those hearts are perfect. But I cannot leave out the inside. I'm going to bring in this new mini swirl heart die. So this die set is available at Trinity Stamps in a slimline version. This is the smaller version and I love it because it comes with a matte layer. So I took that matte layer and I actually cut it like an opening into that panel and then I'll take the actual heart itself and we're going to paper piece all this together on the inside of the card. So we'll start with the pink pieces gluing down the top one first and then the bottom and then the heart. So all I need to do is just trim off any that's excess and then we can set to putting this all together. So there goes the pink layer and actually I think I did the heart next but um, however either way it would work fine. So you glue that in place and you've got this little space for the detailed heart and it just looks so fun. I love this. This is the second time I've put this on the inside of a card. I put it on the inside of a um, five by seven card and it fit perfectly in there. And then that card also used the same gnome stamp set <laughs> because I love it. So there's actually two things I can't stop using, the Kendra's card challenge and the gnome. So there you can see my card next to sketch number 13. And I also did sketch number 14 with the same gnome yeah, this is the one I had the leftover heart from that I didn't use on today's card. And that was part of a hop that I did with Kendra's Card Challenge and Trinity Stamp. So I'll link that video for you below in case you missed it. And you can check that one out too. It has a little hot foiling in the background. So anyways, that is my card for you today. And if you need a little boost in your mojo, you should find Kendra's card challenge. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description box below so you can check it out. And um, there's also like giveaways and things you can do just for participating in her challenges. So make sure you check it out. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. I have new card making videos all the time. I'll see you on the next one. Happy stamping. Bye.